In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God, who through the blessed Apostle John have unlocked for us the secret of your word, grant, we pray, that we may grasp with proper understanding what he has so marvelously brought to our ears. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Something which has existed since the beginning, that we have heard and we have seen with our own eyes that we have watched and touched with our hands. The Word, who is life, this is our subject. That life was made visible. We saw it and we are giving our testimony, telling you of the eternal life which was with the Father and has been made visible to us. What we have seen and heard we are telling you, so that you too may be in union with us, as we are in union with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing this to you to make our own joy complete. The Word of the Lord Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice and right. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All peoples see his glory. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. We praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. The glorious company of the apostles praise you, O Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter set out with the other disciple to go to the tomb. They ran together, but the other disciple, running faster than Peter, reached the tomb first. He bent down and saw the linen cloth lying on the ground, but did not go in. Simon Peter, who was following now, came up 
went straight into the tomb. So the linen cloth on the ground and also the cloth that had been over his head. This was not with the linen cloth but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in. He saw and he believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the fourth Gospel, John is called the disciple whom Jesus loved. He is also a disciple who loved Jesus deeply. This we can see easily when the reading is gospel and intimate personal portrait of Jesus that he gives us. Who has grasped the Lord's message of love better than John? Jesus often chose John with Peter and James to be with him on very special occasions. This tree went in with Jesus when he raised the little daughter of Jairus back to life. They were alone with Jesus at his transfiguration and they were closest to the Lord in the garden of Gethsemane. Of all the disciples, John alone stood with Mary beneath the cross of Jesus. John with Peter was first of the apostles to witness the empty tomb. On Easter morning, Early that Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene found the tomb empty. And ran off to tell Peter and John. The graphic recollection of John, the eyewitness, is beautiful. He described the empty tomb and remaining burial cloth in detail. He saw and believed. But then he adds, As yet they did not understand the scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. because the Holy Spirit had not yet come to teach the disciples. It was the Spirit that taught them the true meaning of the Lord's resurrection. This confirms what John tells us. Jesus said at the Last Supper, I have much to tell you but you cannot bear it now. But when the Spirit comes, He will teach you all truth. Even John, the beloved disciple, 
the one closest to Jesus does not see him. To have expected the resurrection of Jesus. But now, seeing the empty tomb, he comes to believe. How earthly were the thoughts of these first Christians as are ours. They surely needed the power of the Holy Spirit. How feeble is man without God? How earthbound and unable to understand? We are truly poor before God. Without the gift of faith and His totally free gift, we cannot understand. Let us pray, Lord, increase our faith. God bless you. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the Word made flesh, proclaimed by the blessed Apostle John, may through this mystery which we have celebrated ever dwell among us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day and take care.